Stick Insects by Dawn Macmillan. Today we are going to look at this book. Um, it's not a fiction story. This is a non-fiction book. So that means it is a book with lots and lots of information. If we read the title Stick Insects, we know that the book is going to be about stick insects. It's going to give us some information. Stick insects. Now, in a non-fiction book, we have a context page or index page telling us on what page numbers we will find what kind of information regards the stick insects. So we have page 2, a page 3, a page 4, a page 5, page 6 and page 8. You will also see in a non-fiction book you get lots of photographs. You have normal pictures as well, but you get you see lots of photographs in non-fiction books as well. And lots of labels pointing to different parts of the pictures or some captions. So let's read this book to find out about sticked insects. A stick with legs. What can you see in the photo? It looks like a stick, but it has legs. Look closer. It's an insect. It is a stick insect. The Maori word for the stick insect is ro. What is an insect? An insect has six legs. An insect has antenna. An insect has three body parts. The body parts are called the head, thorax and abdomen. If you look at the picture, it shows you the labels antenna, the head, the thorax is the middle part, and the last part is the abdomen. Antenna are also called feelers. Stick insects have very long feelers. They have very small heads. Where do stick insects live? Stick insects live in trees and on plants. What do stick insects eat? Stick insects eat leaves. How do stick insects keep safe? Birds, wasps and possums eat stick insects. But stick insects use camouflage to keep safe. Camouflage means that stick insects look like the plants they live on. That makes it hard for the birds, the wasps and the possums to find them. Can you see the stick insect in this photo? There he sits on the tree, but it's very, very difficult. He camouflages himself. The life cycle of a stick insect. Stick insects hatch from small eggs. So that's the first part of the life cycle. Then the arrow is pointing to the next part. A young stick insect is called a nymph. Next part, following the arrows. Nymphs change their skins when they grow. This is called molting. Following the arrows, like a circle. A female adult stick insect lay eggs. So she lays her eggs. And then it starts again. Then the eggs hatched. Then it's a young stick insect, the nymph, following to the next part where they grow the new skin, following and in growing into a new, or an adult stick insect. So a life cycle is when it repeats over and over again. Many kinds of stick insects. In New Zealand, there are many different kinds of stick insects. Stick Insects is smooth like a leaf. This stick insect is rough like a branch. This stick insect has lots of spines. It looks like a prickly bush. The end. So now if we just quickly flick back through the book, look at the layout of the book. Very different to our fiction stories with pictures and words. They show us photographs. They show us captions, the bold words are new words that we are learning, camouflage, some labels um, 
pointing to the different parts of the animals. There's more bold words, antenna, head, thorax, abdomen. Those are the new words that are introduced to us in this book. And in the beginning, the first page is the contents page, which is all the information that we would find in the non-fiction book. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Now you can share all the information that you learned with one of your family members or tell it to your brothers or your sisters um, because there's a lots of new things that we found out about sticked insects. Have a good day.